What's up, YouTube? Bay Area Baller back again. Today, I am here to give you three scorching hot takes. The first one, Kalia Davis will have a bigger impact this season than Javon Kinlaw. And I say that because, in part, my expectations for Javon are low. Okay, I'm not going to have these high expectations only to be let down yet again. So I have low expectations for Javon, and anything he gives you is going to be gravy. It's going to be positive and unexpected. But Kalia Davis, I'm really excited about the second-year player out of Central Florida. After we drafted him and you put on the tape, the thing that jumps out you about D-tackle Kalia Davis is his acceleration is off the charts. Former linebacker who was converted into D tackle. And you see that athleticism, 6'2", 310. He carries that weight well. He's got great burst. He's an athletic interior guy. So I'm really excited about Kalia. Sounds like he's healthy. You know, he obviously redshirted last year, coming off the ACL injury that he had his last year in college. Redshirted last year, so he's been in the system. But I think he's going to take a leap. Talk about year two breakouts, Kalia Davis. I'm looking at him to make an impact. And with my low expectations for Javon, that means I think Kalia is going to have a bigger impact this year than Javon Kinlaw. Let's get to number two. Austin Bryant, defensive end. He's going to be the third best defensive end on the 49ers team when it's all said and done this year. Obviously, Nick Bosa, he's the best defensive end in the world. Defensive player of the year, 18 and a half sacks, tackles for loss all over the place. So obviously, he's the top guy, Bosa. Two, you know, I'm looking at Drake Jackson. He should get that first shot to be the guy opposite Bosa. And I, do, I did like Drake Jackson coming out of USC. He's got some bend. He's got some uh, good hands that he flashes, knocking the lineman's hands away. But Austin Bryant, man, when I'm really kind of dissecting this depth chart, looking for that Leo pass rusher, someone who's – because I don't think that's Cleveland Farrell. You know, I don't think it's going to be Robert Beal this year. It's not Kerry Hyder. I'm looking at Austin Bryant, okay? Austin Bryant had a ton of production in college, went to Clemson. His last two years at Clemson, eight and a half sacks both seasons. That's great production, you know. He was injury riddled with the Lions, and but he did have four and a half sacks in 2021. He shows a vast array of moves. Take a look at this pass rush move. We're looking at left of screen. Austin Bryant's going against the right tackle. He's going to hit him with a jump swipe. Bam. Into the rip. Sacks Russell Wilson. Just a really impressive pass rush. I like to see that opposite Bosa. He's going to get a lot of one-on-one -on -one situations. And as a pass rusher, I'm looking at this roster thinking, hey, man, third down, Austin Bryant can make an impact. Okay, so that was number two. Austin Bryant's going to be the third best defensive end on the 49ers this season. At number three, it's going to be the hottest take of them all. Again, these are, these are bold predictions. But at number three, Braden Willis is going to win the tight end two job. It may not happen week one, okay? Kyle sometimes is hesitant to play some of these rookies, but I think Braden Willis is going to just impress, whether it's in practice preseason, in his games. He's going to earn that tight end two role. Braden, the more I watch his film, the more I love him because he's, he's good both as a blocker and a pass catcher. And he has that toughness that I know Kyle Shanahan covets, those yards after the catch. When he catches the ball – Matt, you better bring your hard hat when you're going to tackle him. Otherwise, he's going to run through an arm tackle and get those yak yards. But as a blocker, fellas, he has a great understanding of angles. Okay, Blocking is a lot about angles. Getting to that next level, how do you wall off the defender to make that crease for the runner behind you? Braden Willis has it down. He's not the biggest guy, but he's got these angles down, and he's so darn physical. Every snap. Braden Willis gives you everything he's got. Uh, that's why I think he's going to win this tight end two job. Charlie Warner, watch out. Ross Dwelly, ride the pine.
Braden Willis is coming. 31 teams going to pay. Hey, there you have it right there. Ballers, three hot takes. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Type in a hot take of your own down in the comments, okay? Because I know you guys are going to come back and say, Baller, man, you were wrong about this. We're wrong about – well, hey, give me a hot take in the comments. And if you're right, I mean, that's going to be big time. So thanks for tuning in. Catch y'all next time.